Good morning, everybody. Lone Wolf Rick here. And I have arrived at Harry Reid International Airport. Getting ready to fly out uh, here in a little bit anyway. I'm a couple hours early. Fly out to Reno. But uh, go get checked in. And... Uh, get up there and see what it has to offer me. Just take a look around here real quick on the uh, of what I'm looking at. Down below there, downstairs, is the uh, baggage pickup. The uh, deboarding, the deboarding, the uh, leaving. Yeah, so just going to walk around here a little bit. And uh, we'll see what we can see here. Alright, so my flight takes off at B gate. B4. And it says go this way, so that's what we're going to do. Classic car alert here at the airport. This old Ford Thunderbird. A sweet looking car, huh? Alamo Airways was a big, uh, big player back in the 50s uh, here in Las Vegas, to say, as far as the airlines go. Take a look at that airplane over there. The Las Vegas Hacienda Hotel. That was uh, you know, what they would fly high rollers at uh, at the Hacienda back in the day. It's like on their little junkets. This little uh, little two-seater uh, airplane there. All right, so I get to the security checkpoint here. You see all the ropes here, although. Hardly nobody in line, so that's a good thing. I'll get up here and strip down. Hopefully when I take my belt off, it's like my pants stay up. The last month or so, I've lost quite a bit of weight. So... Hopefully they stay up on my waist. All right, so we've come up to the most important part of the airport operation here. The slot machine room. So I got through the uh, security checkpoint, no problems. Although. Um, there was something that showed up, it's like in my crotch area. <laughs> and uh, I took everything off, took everything out. And uh, yeah, so they had to pat me down. And it was like, it was just the crotch area. Of course, there's nothing there except what's all me. And uh, that cleared out okay. See the Shake Shack up there. Hudson, these are the people that run the uh, uh, little convenience store areas here at this airport in Las Vegas. Just gonna go in here and just grab a soda. My throat's feeling a little a little parched, a little raspy. So go in here, grab a soda, and just relax until the flight's ready to go. Gates B and C down this way. That's where I'm heading to gate B. 
I see my restroom is down here located at gate C. So I might have to go to the restroom there before I take off. All right, let's travel this bad boy. All right, so I am at my area as a designated spot. You see there's a B1 and B2. My, my gate is B4. There's B1 and B2. And then it goes to B6. There is no B4 to be found. So I guess I'll start walking until I find it. All right, so I found where I'm supposed to be. Uh, everything that I had received, it's like always said before, not be after, but before. And uh, so I had, uh, I went, there never was a before. There never was one, uh, at least not today anyway. So it had been moved to A11. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty full flight. Uh, this A11 flight. It goes to Reno, then it goes on to Detroit uh, from Reno, then it goes to Minneapolis. So it travels uh, travels quite a ways. All right, but I am where I'm supposed to be. I will load up on the plane. Uh, but it's my time to load up on the plane. Probably about 30 minutes or so. And uh, I'll be back shortly to tell you how that went. All right, everybody. So I am on the plane. The plane takes off at about 12.10. Yeah, it's about an hour and 34 flights today. So I'm kind of right there by the wing. So if I have a Shatner moment. I don't know exactly what's going on. So we get about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so before takeoff. Calm before the storm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Flight by deck, welcome aboard Spare Flight 2514, service to Reno, Nevada. Uh, they just finished loading the bags underneath, just waiting for a couple last minute passengers. Just should be underway on time or a little bit early out the gate here. What's here, Morton? It's uh, just an hour, two minutes take off to stop. <clears throat> Expecting mostly this smooth flight, nice, nice weather in Reno. We'll give you an update on all that as we get here, Morton. Just wanted to add a welcome aboard. Thank you. Taxi away here. Good aerial view of the strip. everybody so that's my adventure of uh, getting to the airport and leaving for leaving for Reno I'll come back and say when we get to Reno and show you uh, what the airport looks like there or maybe a little before maybe I'll show you uh, a couple of spots it's like where uh, what the uh, terrain looks like in a barren Nevada desert. Right. 
<clears throat> All right, so we're making the approach in here. Welcome to Reno. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and all carry-on items stowed until we come to a complete and final stop at the gate and the captain turns off the seatbelt sign. Please use caution when opening overhead bins as items do tend to move around during flight. You may now use your cell phones as long as they are within arm's reach. If you're continuing on to another Spirit Airlines destination, please check the monitors in the terminal for your flight and gate number information. If you have any gate check strollers or car seats, they will be brought back up to the bottom of the jet bridge towards the end of the deplaning process. You're more than welcome to remain in your seat until the majority of the passengers have deplaned. This will allow us to better assist you. We invite you to visit spirit.com forward slash free spirit to learn about our free spirit loyalty program where you can earn points starting with today's flight. On behalf of crew, we'd like to welcome you to Reno. We hope you enjoy your stay and if this is home, welcome home. Alright everybody, I'll be back when we uh, deboard the plane and I'm walking through the airport here. Alright, so I have deboarded the plane and that plane is cycled to continue on until uh, Detroit. But there were quite a few people that got off here at the arena. I tell you, I got off the, uh, I'm coming out of the tarmac, and there's this restaurant here that says Wild Garlic, and you can really smell the garlic, holy moly, it smells really good. So even in Reno here, they got the slot machines. Check that out. Here's something that you don't see very often. A subway here at the airport that actually sells uh, or serves uh, ice cold beer. How about that? Add up there for the Atlantis Casino Resort, small arena. Uh, it's a four diamond property by AAA. And what triggered that did me was when I lived in Oklahoma, I was the operations manager uh, for a Ford Diamond property. Uh, it was very, very nice. Very, uh, it wasn't really very exclusive, but it was extremely nice. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. This is going to be the last clip uh, for this video as I've exited the airport. And Reno is a lot like. Uh, uh, Old Las Vegas. They have the shuttles and they uh, they'll take you to the downtown properties free of charge. How about that, huh?
that's the way Vegas used to be uh, before the corporate bean counter saw took over. All right, everybody, I'm Lone Wolf Rick. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I will see everybody in the next video. Hey, bye-bye, everybody.